Welcome to this three-part video series about animal handling and livestock behavior. I'm Katherine Getke. And I'm Michaela Simcoe, and we're with University of Minnesota Extension. Working with animals on the farm is often a fun and rewarding task in which youth are able to gain responsibility, confi confidence, and animal handling skills. However, it can also be dangerous. In fact, one in every five farm injuries are directly linked to livestock. Farm animals have their own patterns of movement and behavior. This video will be focusing specifically on sheep, dairy, and beef cattle behavior. While working with these animals, understanding and recognizing their behavior is key to the safety of both people and livestock on the farm. This video will be focusing on understanding animal behavior, practicing good stockmanship, and preventing harm by avoiding hazards. We don't always know what animals are thinking, but we have a pretty good idea based on their normal behaviors. Our goal is to prepare you to work with livestock in a safe and efficient manner. To ensure safety for people and animals on the farm, it is important to practice good stockmanship. But first, what is stockmanship? Stockmanship is a way of minimizing stress on animals by considering their natural behaviors and practicing safe and efficient handling techniques. Understanding livestock behavior is another key part of keeping livestock and people safe on the farm. Livestock like to have a routine and may become stressed if their normal routine changes. Livestock also have strong herding instincts, so they are more comfortable when they are around other animals. They typically will have unpredictable and sometimes dangerous behavior if separated from their herd. Cattle and sheep will want to see you at all times. They will often turn their head or bodies to keep you in their sight. Walking within an animal's vision range while approaching them is practicing good stockmanship. So it is unsafe to approach livestock from behind as this is a blind spot and they may be startled. Animals and people can work together safely as long as people understand normal livestock behaviors, including the fight or flight response. Fight or flight is an animal's response to a threat. They may choose to confront the threat or flee from it. When working with livestock, it is important to reduce threats and avoid the fight or flight response. To do this, we need to take livestock pressure zones, flight zones, and blind spots into consideration. Animals have a zone of comfort in which they will behave normally. The pressure zone is the area in which an animal will begin to notice and react to the presence of a human or other threat. Once an animal realizes that you are in the pressure zone, they may move their head or take a step away from you. This space is a different size for every animal and largely depends on how tame the animal is. The size of the pressure zone can also be affected by the excitement level and the angle in which you approach the animal. Like humans, livestock have a personal space and when someone enters this area, livestock try to move away. This is called the flight zone. If you move outside the animal's flight zone, it will turn to look at you. This space is closer to the animal than the pressure zone and can also vary in size among animals. The blind spot is the area directly behind an animal, between the ears. Animals cannot see you when you are in this area, so approaching animals from the blind spot will likely startle them and cause a fight or flight response, putting both the person and the animal in danger. It is recommended to approach livestock at an angle in which they can see you coming to avoid a fight or flight response. The fight or flight response is a pattern of behavior that is instinctive to livestock, which is why it is so important to take pressure zones, flight zones, and blind spots into account when working with these animals. Please join us for our next segment about recognizing hazards and safely moving livestock. <laughs> 